This is it, the final qualifying event and the final chance for any team to prove that they deserve to be in the Team Quadrilla Marble League here in its second season. We have the relay race course, three sets of handoffs that teams need to get through in order to set the fastest time in their groups. The record, set by the Valley Dashers in Season 1, 5.20 seconds. That's the same record as the hurdles record on the same course set by Blue Tail from the Individual League. But now we go on to Group A, Majestic Melons on top in this group, but they haven't guaranteed their qualification. Heliospheres at the bottom, they need a miracle to qualify, and they're going to be in Heat 1 alongside the Majestic Melons. Majestic Melons to the far, Heliospheres to the near. As we get the event underway, Majestic Melons have the lead. Heliospheres catch up, but they will not get the win. Majestic Melons, a great final handoff and final leg. And they get the win with Honeydew, their captain. And the Heliospheres, they pretty much needed to win the event to qualify. So it looks like they are going to be going home. But 6.08 seconds for the Majestic Melons. Decent time. We've certainly seen better with the Valley Dashers with their record. We'll have to see how the rest of the teams stack up. Shadow Riders and the Mountain Climbers. Shadow Riders, slightly can the Mountain Climbers catch up? They need this, but they're not going to. The Shadow Riders get the win, and in doing so, they look like they are most likely going to qualify. But how does their time stack up to the Majestic Melons time? It is better, 5.77 seconds. The Shadow Riders get the lead in Group A. The Mountain Climbers, a fairly slow time. That is not good for them, already 7th in the standings. But on we go to Heat 3, Amber Animals and the Golden Cheeses. Third and sixth right now, Amber Animals have the lead, but the Golden Cheeses on the final handoff. A great transition there, and they get the win. The Amber Animals stumbled in the transition from Tamarin to Parrot in the final leg, and they will lose out. Already third in the standings, so they can still qualify, but it's not going to be very easy for them. Golden Cheeses go up into second place. But now here, in the final heat of Group A, Poison Ivy and Celestials, these two very evenly matched. Right now, 4th and 5th, Celestials have the lead, but they lose it to the Poison Ivy. Supernova, the captain of the Celestials, had it midway through the final leg, but they choke it to the Poison Ivy with Poison. In doing so, the Poison Ivy guarantee that they will beat the Celestials in the standings for the qualifiers. Celestials... Did they just choke a qualifying position? The Shadow Riders get the win in Group A. They guarantee that they will be qualifying. Golden Cheeses also go up into third place. The Shadow Riders, Majestic Melons, Golden Cheeses, and the Poison Ivy have qualified for the Team Quadrilla Marble League. Amber Animals, Celestials, Mountain Climbers, and the Heliospheres are going home. Sinister Sprinters, Team Atlantic, Floundering Fish, and Red Lotus Top 4 of Group B right now. Sprinters already qualified. Deserters already eliminated. But the other 6 teams are still playing for qualification here in Group B. Now the first heat. Bit of a non-factor in this one. Sprinters and Deserters. The, their fates are already sealed. Sprinters playing for first overall in the group. Deserters just playing to not get last in every event. And not much of a surprise. The Sprinters get the win in Heat 1. How does their time stack up to the times we've seen in Group A? 5.77 was the best we've seen in Group A. And the Sprinter is not that great of a time. 6.03 seconds. It's going to be about mid-pack as it was in Group A. It was pretty similar to the Majestic Melons. They don't have to worry though. They're already qualified. But Team Atlantic and the Venomous Vipers have not yet. Venomous Vipers have the lead and they will hold on. Team Atlantic tried to catch up. They look like they were doing it just a bit, but the Venomous Vipers will get the win. But is it enough for them to qualify? They're in 7th right now. Team Atlantic in 2nd. They don't have to worry too much, but they aren't guaranteed, of course. But the Venomous Vipers, a sub-6 second run, that's pretty good from them. Here in Heat 3, Floundering Fish and the Treat Fleet, 3rd and 6th in the standings for Group B. E. Floundering Fish have the slight lead. Treatly trying to catch up. Treatly nearly caught up at the beginning of the final handoff, but the floundering fish pull ahead in the final leg, and the floundering fish will get the win. The floundering fish look like they 
are going to qualify, sitting in third right now. They go into the lead, 5.85 seconds. That is good enough for first place right now. But now, in the final heat of Group B, Red Lotus and the Olive Orbs. Red Lotus won the relay race in Season 1. They should do well here. But the Olive Orbs have the lead, and the Olive Orbs will beat the Red Lotus. An upset victory here from the Olive Orbs. Could that potentially have knocked the Red Lotus out of qualification? The Olive Orbs in 5th in the standings, Red Lotus 4th, but separated by no points, both at 15. That means the Olive Orbs will beat the Red Lotus in the standings. Olive Orbs get the win in Group E overall. They will qualify Floundering Fish in 2nd, then it's the Venomous Vipers and the already qualified Sinister Sprinters. They win the group, Olive Orbs in 2nd, Floundering Fish and Team Atlantic are going to the main tournament. Red Lotus miss out by one point. Absolute heartbreak for them. They are not going to qualify. But now Group C. Valley Dashers, Yellow Lotus, Nickel Knights, Efficient Eggs in the transfer positions right now. But it's a very close group here in Group C. Of course, Valley Dashers have the record with the 5.20 seconds. They are obviously the favorites here to bring it home haven't qualified yet. Rock Pools, they need a miracle as well. The Rock Pools are not going to get the win here. That is not good for them. Valley Dashers get the win and in doing so have pretty much guaranteed that they will be qualifying. How does the time stack up to previous best? The Shadow Riders still have the best time, but the Valley Dashers, 5.33 seconds. They get the fastest time of the day. Rock Pools, not a good time from them. They will likely be going home. Yellow Lotus and the Aquamarines here. Yellow Lotus, they are in second place right now, but the Aquamarines get the win. Could this be another upset for the Lotus teams? The Aquamarines in seventh place right now. They need a top spot in this event to qualify. Yellow Lotus are in second, but they can still not qualify. Aquamarines 5.73 seconds. That is better than the Shadow Riders from Group A. Not as good as, of course, the Valley Dashers. But here in Heat 3, Nickel Knights and the Bobble Squad. Nickel Knights have it slightly. Bobble Squad, very good handoff, and they get the win. Where are the Nickel Knights? The Nickel Knights, well, the Bobble Squad had a great third leg. The Nickel Knights had a terrible one, and that's going to cost them immensely. The Nickel Knights in third in the standings. Could they hold the qualification position? The Bobble Squad, they needed this, 5.46 seconds, a great time from them, and they go into second place behind the Valley Dashers. But now in the final heat, Efficient Eggs and the Bacon Brawlers, these two, Breakfast Bowl teams trying to knock each other out, the Efficient Eggs gonna get the win easily. What happened to the Bacon Brawlers? The Bacon Brawlers had a terrible second leg. Efficient Eggs easily get the win, Bacon Brawlers are nowhere to be seen. And what's this? The bacon, bacon Brawlers are fighting with the Efficient Eggs. Bacon, their captain, is accusing them of tampering with their lane. The Efficient Eggs say they have no partner. They're trying to hold back their captains from getting at each other. But the Efficient Eggs get a sub-six second run. Bacon Brawlers get lost. And they are not going to qualify. The Valley Dashers, though, easily get the win. Followed by the Bobble Squad. Aquamines in third. But it's not enough for the Aquamarines to qualify. Valley Dashers, Yellow Lotus, Bobble Squad, and the Efficient Eggs have qualified for the Team Cordilla Marvel League. Aquamarines, Nickel Knights, Rock Pools, and the Bacon Brawlers do not. But congratulations to the Valley Dashers, Olive Orbs, and Shadow Riders for winning the relay race in their groups. And to the Valley Dashers, Sinister Sprinters, and the Shadow Riders for getting the top three in points in the qualifiers. And here it is, the full list of teams that have qualified for the Team Cordula Marble League here in the second season. Those that didn't make it here will go to the B division, but stay tuned for the friendly round with the four auto-qualified teams and the first event of the main tournament, the Gravitrax Team Pursuit, coming soon.